Good morning everyone. Today I am here with the third session on tenses and today we are going to discuss different type of questions. We will convert from one tense to another. We will take few sentences and convert from one tense to another and I am sure you are going to do this again and again. Now in the beginning I am ready with the table here that I have been discussing in the last two sessions. So this is the present tense part, this is the past tense part and this is the future tense part. I'll just give a quick revision to it and then we'll start questions. I told you in the present tense, simple present, we have to discuss all the four and all the three tenses and in the simple present, verb one form is taken. Verb one. Alright, we had discussed the three forms of verbs. So this is the root word, the present tense form that will be taken with S or without S according to the singular and plural of the noun. Alright. Then here in the continuous form we will take is, am, are that is the present tense form of be with verb plus ing. This shows that it is the verb is still continuing. Then comes the perfect tense. Sim, uh, present perfect tense has, has and have. Has and have are present tense forms of have with verb three form. Alright, the third form of verb. And in the perfect continuous, it is the combination of perfect and continuous. So, we have to have perfect, that is has and have, we take from here. And ing part is from here and when the two are together, we put a bean in between. I told you to remember this. I want everyone to learn this table very, very nicely. You will never go wrong with tenses. You will never speak English wrong. You will never write wrong English. Alright. Alright. Quickly with past tense. Simple past. We have to take the verb second form. That is the past tense form. Alright. In the continuous past continuous. We have to take was and were. This is the past tense form of be. Plus verb ing. Because the work is still continuing. In the perfect past perfect tense. We take the past tense form of have. That is had and verb three form third form of verb and in the past uh, in the past perfect continuous we take had been with verb ing this is the past tense form of have this is the continuous form and when the two are taken together we add a been in between all right to show that the work is still being done it is still continuing Alright, it was started before and it is still continuing. Future tense, in the future simple, we have will and shall. In all the future, you know, whenever there we talk about anything that has to happen, that has not ha happened up till uh, now, it, it has not occurred, we always have will and shall. Alright, so will and shall in verb first form, present tense form. Then in the continuous, we will take will shall is always there. And verb ing, but we have to add a b because whenever we are saying I will be dancing, I will dancing is no English. We have to add a helping verb in between and that is b. Alright, this is the present tense will shall be. This is the future tense form of b that I had done day before yesterday. I had told you to write also. Alright, you can if you have not seen, you can see my first video on tenses. You will find the different forms of be and have in it because that is very important for doing tenses. Alright, in the uh, future perfect tense, we have will, shall and have. This is the will, shall, have is the future tense form of have with verb third form. And again in uh, future perfect continuous, we have will, shall, have from here and ing from here. When the two are together, we add a bean in between. This is the helping verb. Alright, to make the sentence meaningful. Alright, so according to this, we'll have the, uh, the table here, I will not rub it and we'll do different questions. I'll keep rubbing and we'll keep doing it. I have two questions ready for you. Let us quickly change from one tense to another. Now in the first sentence, the farmer is watering his crops. Now here is watering is which tense? This is, see, is and verb ing. So this is present continuous tense and we have to change into future continuous. So how will we do that? The farmer, this is always added. This is, we write it, rewrite it. Future continuous is this. We have to refer the table. 
until you have not learnt it properly. Alright, so we will have the farmer will be watering his crops. Alright, now in the second sentence, Raj draws a scenery. Now draws is which tense? It is simple present. We have to change it into past perfect. Where is past perfect? Past perfect is here. So we will write Raj past his hat. Verb third form. What is the verb third form of draw? It is drawn. We had done before also. Raj had drawn a scene. Alright. Alright. Any problems anyone? If you go through any problems, please write it in my comment section. I will definitely answer. Alright. So I'm quickly rubbing this and we'll have another sentences. We will keep discussing different types of conversions. Now if the sentence is, suppose Suman will be eating her lunch. Now which tense is this? Will be eating. It is future continuous tense. And suppose we are told to make it present perfect. Alright? So how do we do it? Suman. Then we move on to see what is present perfect. This is present. This is perfect. So it is this. Suman is one single person. So we have has and the verb third form. Suman has eaten. What are the three forms? Eat, ate and eaten. Alright. Her lunch. Alright. Next sentence. I'll quickly read up this. Alright. Next sentence suppose. The sentence is. The boys have been playing cricket since morning. So which sentence, which tense is this? Have been playing is this. Have been and verb ing. So this is present perfect continuous. Suppose we have to change it into future Perfect. Alright. So we will do the boys. Now where is future perfect? It's here. Will have. Alright. Played. Cricket. Alright. So we have to keep changing the tense parts. We have to keep changing the parts that require changes. Now we'll quickly move on to the next sentence. Now suppose the sentence is Zahida had eaten the cake. Now had eaten is which tense? It is past perfect. Alright. Now we have to change into simple Present. Simple present is here. We have to make it verb first form. So Zahida eats, eat, ate, eaten are the three forms. First form is eat. Zahida is a single person. So we have to add an S over here. Zahida eats the cake. Now this becomes simple present. Now quickly we will move on to the Next sentence. Just request everybody to keep, you know, giving yourself different types of sentences. Keep changing into different tenses. Do the conversions. You will never go wrong. And plus, you will also get thorough with the three forms of verbs. Alright. Now, suppose the next sentence is. The teacher shouts. Shouts in the class. Suppose this is a sentence. Now what is this tense? Shouts is? It is simple present. Okay. Now simple present but we have to change it into suppose simple past. This is simple present. Alright. Now we have to make it past tense. So we have to write the verb second form. The teacher 
shouted because shout word is a weak verb. So, the past tense and the past participle tense remain the same. So, teacher shouted in the class. So, this is the past tense form of shout. Now, if the next sentence, there is no space at the bottom, I'll again have to rub this. Quickly, I'll do it. We'll do two more sets. Alright. Shall I wrap this also quickly? Alright, suppose the sentence, next sentence if you take is Ruhi. Alright. Waits in the garden. Alright. Now, if we have to convert waits is which tense? It is present simple. Alright, now if we have to convert into future simple. How will you do it? Ruhi will shall work first form. So Ruhi will wait in the garden. Alright, now if the sentence is the patients, alright, the patients um, have waited for the doctor since morning. Now, which is this tense? Have waited is present perfect tense, alright. Now, if we have to make it Turn into let it be past perfect continuous. So let us do the conversion. The patients. So we have to make it past. So it becomes had been waiting for the doctor since morning. All right. Two more we'll do and then I'll want everyone to go through my video again and again and keep revising, keep learning this table. Suppose the next sentence is the boy is writing a letter. All right. Is writing is which tense? It is simple present. Uh, simple, uh, sorry, present continuous. All right. Now, if we have to change it into past perfect, how do we do it? Past perfect is this: the boy had written. All right, written a letter. All right. Sentence ten. Suppose the sentence is the suppose uh, the girls it's gone wrong. The girls uh, baked a cake for father. Alright, now which tense is this? Baked is V2 form, it is simple past. Suppose we have to uh, change it into present perfect. The girls, present perfect is here. The girls, girls are many, so we take the plural form, have baked a cake. For father. Alright. So this were few questions. And I want every one of you. To practice them. Learn this part. This table is very important. Life long. If you have this in your mind. You will never speak wrong English. You will go absolutely correct. And I want everybody. To take care of themselves. Stay at home. Stay safe. And yes. If you have not subscribed my channel, do it now. Ring the bell too to get the latest notifications. Thank you so much.